Hello everyone, you're watching your white queen, Treasure. So today our first topic is Rosa Parks. We're going to talk about that bitch and what she did for the black society. So it is upon rumor that Rosa Parks helped black people by sitting her ass on a bus and being a lazy ass nigger, just like the rest of them. But the thing about Rosa Parks is nobody wants to acknowledge that she was a radical terrorist. There was nothing good about that bitch. And the fact that she's dead even means so much better. Like it's so, life is just so much better without her being here. And I don't know why black people always want to support their radical little terrorist group they have. If someone asks you to get up, off your seat because you're not you know you're not supposed to be sitting there you're supposed to get your ass up that means you're lazy and i have no respect for lazy people especially bitches and bastards like martha luther king and rosa parks like all they did was sit their fucking lazy asses down so how the hell is that like how the hell are we supposed to all have like a rosa parks day and a martha luther king day those days we do not need to have days supporting radical terrorists that's what they are like literally you think protesting running out in the streets not using the bus system is going to help and help change the environment it's not all it's going to do is show back the fact that niggers cannot listen they're monkeys and that's the reason why they do need to sit in the back of the bus because at the front it's for educated well-spoken nice-mannered people but you guys are not that rosa parks is a terrorist and i'm happy she's dead just like martin luther king i'm happy he got assassinated because he was a terrorist. Just like the NAACP group, they're terrorists. They're all extremely radical, and I don't know why, well, of course black people are gonna support them because they always support violence and, you know, people fighting each other and people causing wars and things like that because, you know, that's what they love doing. They're not very smart people. Subject that I wanna cover is Africa. And it's another definition about how God hates black people and how Jesus and me we just don't like you guys and you really get it through your heads. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about Africa. So, Africa is a place. South Africa, whatever you guys want to call it, I don't really care. And um, it's a place full of Ebola and AIDS, showing the fact that God hates niggers just as much as me. Literally, that whole country is just full of AIDS and hungry, starving people. They don't deserve shit and deserve to die. It's literally like pollution on our earth. Africa is the poorest country in the world. And I think it really shows something that is full of niggers and that God gave them AIDS and gave them starvation and gave them death every day because they don't survive past the age of 52. I've done my research. And I think it's really, really funny the fact that for the sickos. I do not care about you guys talking about my dead dad. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I literally do not give a fuck. Because you know why? The worms eating his dead body doesn't care. So why the hell would I care? Especially if he's not alive to actually get in his feelings about it. Since that, that guy is dead? I don't care. You guys act like I was just like 10 years old and he was alive or something. No, I, he died like when I was like 5 or 6. We don't retain information until we get to, to like about 4 years old. So i known him for like a few years. And um, I think it's really, really funny the fact that a bunch of black people are just trying to attack him to like try to get at me. And I'm like, why the fuck would I care? He's dead, you know, like he died. I don't give a fuck. He's dead. Let the worms who are eating his body give a fuck. Like, I'm pretty sure his body's not even there anymore. Like, who cares? Well, this is for the people who think that I'm seeking validation from my other brothers, my Caucasian fellow people. And I'm just going to say this now. I love you guys. Regardless of what you say about me, Caucasian people, it's completely fine. You have the right to have your own opinion and you have the right to have, you know, freedom of speech. Like I already said, that's completely fine with me. I'm not a radical person. I'm not going to say, how dare you talk about? No, I'm not that type of person. I'm not sensitive like the rest of these people out here. But for my Caucasian people out there, I'm going to let you know this now. I love you with all my heart, but I am not seeking validation from you. That's not what I'm doing. That's not why I'm out here. I'm not trying to say that every Caucasian person is like me. I'm not saying that. My views on African-Americans vary from people to people. 
And I understand the fact that a lot of African Americans and a lot of Caucasian people, they get together. They're, they're nice to each other, and that's fine with me. If my Caucasian friends want to be friends with some niggers, that's completely fine. Do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But I'm going to say this now. For all the people, like, I don't give a fuck. Listen to the words that just came out of my mouth. I don't give a shit about what you're saying. I'm not asking you to give me my white card. I'm telling everyone, I'm not asking to be white. I know that I'm white. I'm not saying that I want to be white. I am white. For some people to tell me that I can't be part of the race they're in, that sounds absolutely insane and absurd. So I think that that's crazy that a lot of white people are really out here saying that about me. But you guys are very smart individuals, so I respect your opinion completely. And I feel like you guys should feel however you want to. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I respect you guys, and we're family. Regardless of what you say, we're all family together. So The first question that I'm going to read today is, it says, Just want to say, Treasure, thanks for the spread of hate. My sister really needed that. Her funeral's tomorrow. Thanks, Treasure, because now my sister's dead. And then I replied with, Good for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys this now. I don't give a fuck if your family dies. I don't give a shit. I couldn't give less of a fuck if I went and spit on your dead sister's body. Like, I don't care. Fuck your sister. Fuck that dead ass bitch. Why would I care? Like, what, what sense does that even make? What did you think I was going to cry about and be like, Oh, I, I, got, I got a stomach in the Her sister's dead. No, bitch, fuck your sister. The fuck would I care for? <laughs> Someone said, beautiful, a rival in every strength to our Queen Empress Victoria. A greater sight to behold than Helen. Our white queen is unmarked by Cain. We love you, treasure. And I just wanted to say, thank you. And I have been getting a lot of those comments that were like, people are like, oh, we love you so much and blah, 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 blah. Don't worry, I'm definitely going to get merch and stuff like that. One thing I really want to get put on a shirt is I'm white because I feel like that is such like a... A trademark thing for me and I love it like I just love the fact that I have so much supporters and fans now and I I feel like I'm just so grateful I'm really grateful for you guys so if you're watching my videos and you're saying wow I like this girl I just want to say I like you as well and I'm very happy that we're that you're my fan and our last comment I'll be reading today is Instead of attacking her, address the points of what she's talking about. Nothing that she said is untrue. You may not like her arguments, but she's mostly correct. Come on, prove her wrong. And I like the fact that people said that because a lot of people, even under African Americans, are saying, okay, some of what she is saying is true. There's a lot of people out here in our race that are actually criminals and are that are at one of those people that she is talking about. And I love the fact that people are actually saying, yeah, you know. People just don't like the fact that I'm not beating around the bush. When it comes to African Americans, I don't feel like you should beat around the bush because they're retarded already. But I feel like you shouldn't beat around the bush with them because, you know, they could be stealing your car. And then uh, my, my race will be all like, hey, well, can you bring it back at a certain time and blah, blah, blah. Don't beat around the bush. You know they're not going to bring your car back. You know they're thieves. You know that they're not supposed to be in your garage stealing in the first place. So don't do it. Call the police. Let the police handle it. One thing I really got to do is say, good, good job, law enforcement. Every black African-American that you kill is one less criminal on the street. And I'm extremely happy that the African-American people are getting cleaned up by the police. Let them come and get them, especially the African-American men. I hate them. Like, they're the worst in the world. The worst ever. Worst creation ever. I don't, I'm not sure why God, my, my, my dad or whatever, I don't, I'm not sure why he created y'all in the first place. I mean, he, well, I guess because he wanted y'all to be our slaves and then he wants you guys to go to Africa and have AIDS and also to have diabetes. But that's kind of really it. And that's where I'm going to end my video today. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, my Facebook name is TR Rabu. My Instagram name is Treasure the Goat with dots between the spaces. My Twitter name is Spice24 a day. And my, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Treasure the White Queen. Make sure you do it. Have a great day. I love you guys.